Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to create a progress bar in React. At first, let's create a component and initialize it. And let's get started. First of all, we need a use state uh, to keep track of the fact that our progress bar is full or not. So let's call it a uh, field and set field. And it should be equal to a use state. And initial value should be zero because uh, at first, uh, nothing has been loaded, so it should be zero. And also another one, to so we can actually check if it is actually being loaded or not. So let's call it loading and is loading. And it should be equal to another use state. And by default, it is false. Okay. And also, we need a use effect. So uh, we can actually call some function inside of it right when our app gets running. And inside this function, what we do is to check if uh, the loading uh, has not ended yet and it's not full as well. So uh, we should uh, keep progressing. But how? Uh, this way, we call set timeout, and inside set timeout, we set uh, our field use state uh, with uh, five more than the previous amount, like this. Prev should be prev plus five. Okay, and the second argument should be fifty. And as a dependency array for a use effect, we should uh, put our use states, which is filled and is loading. Okay, let's go to our HTML. Let me change the tag to body. And inside body, I want to have another div tag. Let's give it a class name, something like progress bar, simply. Okay. And inside this, we need another div tag. Let me create a div. Okay. And we need some styling here, which is actually the most important part, kind of. And this is actually the part that uh, gets colorful uh, when it is loading. So let's set the height to 100%, but the width should be uh, corresponding with the field state so uh, let's uh, apply template literal like this dollar sign and curly brace and inside this we need uh, the field number in percentage like this all right and we should actually set a background color so it is uh, actually uh, recognizable from its background i set it to pink and also some transition, so it uh, moves smoothly. And next is that uh, we might want to, you know, uh, show the number of uh, percentage. So let's also create a span inside this on to uh, display the number. Let's call the class progress bar percentage. Mm -hmm. And here we should render our field state. Great. Percentage. All right. And the last thing is a button to trigger all the stuff like this. Okay. Let's add uh, some text like start. Let's add some class name. Okay, and also an unclick method, so we can actually uh, start uh, progressing. And inside this unclick method, we set our loading to true, so the use effect uh, gets started working. But oh, wait, okay, my set state is called is loading. Sorry for the naming, and it should be loading here. Okay, instead of is loading.
um, and don't forget to add your component, your app.js, and inside the component, make sure you uh, set the loading to true inside the unclick. And this is all the styling I added, and let me add, uh, add my uh, CSS file to my app.js. The path is the same directory components, and the file is called progbar.css. And as you can see, it is working perfectly. That's all. Thanks for watching.